Turns out I'm a dead man. Don't tell on me, Dave. Tell him what? I seriously don't know. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> this is pretty sick, though. I have uh, solar panels stretching across like half of the planet, so I can get power throughout most of the day. And then I have wind turbines keeping everything at like a critical low for when it's uh, totally out. It's about time for me to fly home, though. Fly home. So you can get some dome. That'd be nice. Everyone's favorite thing.
Baby, what's up? I love you too. For a second, I thought you were talking to your cat. <laughs> yeah, it's important to keep a flirty relationship with your cat. <laughs> it's like, huh? <laughs> I don't think that's an idea. Reading books for Lent. Hmm. Oh, Dave Gross. There's no excuse for being such a hairy Larry. I'm I'm not a hairy Larry. Set a f I've uh, set it up to the point where now I have airborne logistics and certain supplies. That is so cool. <gasps> Here they come! So freaking cool. Oh, that is epic. <sighs> now I'm off to Blue Base. Because that's where Blue Man Group is. Don't want to miss that, huh, This is Blue Base. Where am I? Oh, 
right, this is blue base. Yeah. Everybody, how's it going? Hey, Colin. Oh, hey, Colin. Hey, man, how's it going? <clears throat> I got a charcuterie board. That's delicious. Uh, I got a, a summer sausage, um, some gr Gruyere. Oh, Gruyere's my favorite cheese, dude. That's the best one. And then uh, I got some white. Gruyere is the best cheese, dude. It's so good. You're gonna, you're gonna it's, enjoy it. I'm, I'm enjoying it so far. It's pretty good. It, I also really fucking like the summer sausage. It's really nice. Nice. Where'd you get the charcuterie from? Just like uh, your local packy? Uh, I I mean, I got the board off of the internet. Uh, oh. But I, I, I got the, the components the myself at, at like a, a Publix. Oh, nice. That's the best way to do it. Oh, that sounds awesome, dude. Yeah. I'm getting my calories in the most kingly of ways. You really are. That's the way to do it, man. Otherwise, what's the point? <laughs> it just doesn't even make me feel like a king. Oh, rip off. <laughs> uh, what I have to do later in life is get, uh, is get like a female to uh, feed me grapes as I like hmm. rest on a bench looking like an asshole. Huh. That's the life. Well. <clears throat> well, there are grapevines at my house, and the grapes are starting to grow, so if you want to come to my house, I can put a wig on and I can feed you. <laughs> <laughs> that might be as good as it gets, come <laughs> Yeah. <that's it>. <laughs> <laughs> Life isn't worth living. <laughs> Life's not fair. It's really not. <laughs> put on a wig. <laughs> yeah. I took my first bite of the summer sausage. I didn't realize it was wrapped in this th fucking plastic that you can't eat. <laughs> you silly fuck. <laughs> I didn't realize. Some, At least you realize some sort it of once you've been into it. On yeah, something from fucking. Like, that's such an old fucking reference. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, Hunter. No! So that is such an old fucking reference. Holy shit. At least you realize it, Colin, before you swallow. <laughs> yeah, it was like, why can't I bite into this? <laughs> Stupid sausage that gave me is broken. <laughs> Some weak ass sausage. I mean, like, I cut into it, so all I had to do was just you know, peel it off of each slice. <laughs> That's so many chances to see it. <laughs> it's, it fucking looks like it's edible, though. It looks like food. It does! <laughs> they look so, like, delicious and, like, pickled. You're 
killing me. <laughs> it's not like it's the fuck. It's like fucking baloney, and like it's a, like a oh. fucking fluorescent red. This it's like a a very br a dark brown natural looking shit. <laughs> Like your mom's tatas. I, I, I'm not saying that I've seen them, but like I just well, doubt certainly, that. You've never seen your mom's tits. I mean, like not recently. Well, obviously not recently. You don't do. You, like, what do you mean, obviously not recently? <laughs> I ain't touching that one. <laughs> <laughs> what I mean, never mind. You live with your mother. You live with your mother for how long? And you've never walked, like you've never seen your parents naked. Uh, I, I definitely have. Okay, that's what I mean. I mean, they they weren't they weren't like dark brown when I when I saw them that time. But I don't know if that's changed. That's what I'm saying. I don't want to hear any more of this. <laughs> well, it doesn't even it doesn't even really apply to you, Hunter. Because you fucking adopt it anyway. Woo, for the word. If you fucked your mother, it wouldn't be a crime. Should be. I'm just saying. I'm just stating facts here, okay? Gross ones. State better facts. <laughs> I mean, I'm not. I'm sure you wouldn't. I mean, I'm sure you wouldn't want to have sex with Linda, but you would. You would? I said who would? Apparently not Ray, because you're adopted. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say a blame. Damn, got him. Can't say a blame. I think that was a wise call. <laughs> Wait, aren't your siblings actually related to your parents? And um, you're the adopted one? My brother is the actual. These are the worst! He's, he's a dish. At least usually. Solid. You. And your sister's a cunt. A oh, fucking is cunt! The same about me! He's a fucking reprehensible retard. Well, I mean, Ray Hunter retired. did. Hunter did. Hunter did literally drive to like South Dakota, picked up, picked up, packed up all her shit into his car, drove her back from South Dakota with her, like alone. By the way, like had all her shit, all her pets, drove all the way back, and she didn't even like say thank you. Yeah. Or fuck you. you. <laughs> That's. When she left, it was just like, all right, peace. Will you at least play true time with me? No response. No, oh, if I hit her up to play two time with me, she would definitely be like, yo, let's play. <laughs> She'd be oh, like, oh, um, I have seven characters coming. <laughs> like, oh, what? And they're all the highest level in the entire universe. Like, I don't know, man. I got a text from Dunkin' Donuts saying that they want to put me in touch with their hiring manager. For some reason, I thought you were gonna say that they want to dunk your donuts. <laughs> I thought they were. I thought I honestly thought that where this, where this was going is that you were gonna get a text advisory from Dunkin' Donuts to get vaccinated. That's hilarious. <laughs> I'm but, not. I've been getting. I've been getting so many texts from random numbers telling me like, if you want to get vaccinated, text us for info. Da, 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 da. And I just say stop. Like I just have been doing like the automated please stop. But if I keep getting it. I'm probably just gonna start responding with pictures of my dick. Like I'm getting really, really annoyed. Do <laughs> <laughs> so, um, like pressed ham photos? But uh, what I what I was gonna say was that basically Is that pressed ham. <laughs> it's fucking it. I I applied there like two years ago. <laughs> And they're That's just so now so fucking. <laughs> and they're now reaching out, and it's not even for the job. <laughs> it, I mean, unfortunately, it... unfortunate, unfortunately, Colin, that's not un it's not a professional, and it's not normal, but it's not uncommon. That's hilarious. I mean, I look, I would be fine with like working there as like a second job. Uh, but like, I would want it to be like you know, good hours, like just part time. 
Good hours. And... What are you, a fascist? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, want, I want it to be part-time, so like no more than like four hours. And then, you know, if it's, if it's at least ten an hour, then I would be fine with that. What are you, a communist? If, if they cannot meet those terms, then I, I'll, I'll just have to be like, look, you're gonna have to get another dude that you know applied two years ago. The best, the best, <laughs> the best piece of the best piece of advice I could ever give to a young person, especially women who are like starting to go out into the workforce, is like always be firm with them. Don't let them talk over you, mm. and especially when it comes to like 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 pay. Ask them what the pay is gonna be. It's not inappropriate to ask that question. If they don't answer the like. If, if I get contacted by an employer, one of the first things one of the first things I ask right out of the gate is what's the, what are you willing to pay me? And if they're not willing to tell me, if they're not willing to even give me a ballpark of what they're going to pay me, um, I want yeah. I, and and a lot of times, and if they want me to come in and talk to them, I'm gonna I'm gonna want to know what they what they're willing. Like if they're just if they just want some basic information over the phone and want to do a phone interview, okay, that's fine. But if they want me to actually come in at that point, it's like okay, what am I getting paid? If I don't get that information, I'm either not even going to go into the interview, or if I go into the interview and they won't tell me, I'm going to say, you're done. Um, I've heard everything I need. Like, people well, don't... Thank you very much. Uh, see you later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't... I'm, like, I'm not interested. Especially if they're not... Like, because a lot of places, they won't fucking tell you what they're going to pay you. Exactly. They won't it's like, it. well, if you won't tell me, then I'm not going to tell you that I'm taking the job. Yeah. <laughs> it's that simple, man. <laughs> Right. I officially have a supply of energetic graphite that spans from across the planet using just uh, drones to transport them. Taking a gig. <laughs> like I get job like like LinkedIn has a new like job thing and if, if I look at job descriptions and if they do not mention the pay, I don't fucking I just stop looking at it. It's like yeah, so if you're not even gonna if you're not even gonna tell me if you're not even gonna tell me what the pay is gonna be, I'm not even gonna bother applying. No you're not even gonna give me like a range. Like I saw one where it's like we're willing to pay you like up to like nineteen or twenty dollars an hour given your experience and I was like okay that's like that's like that's reason that's a reasonable thing but yeah right exactly it's like woo I'll apply to that
yeah, Colin, that is kind of ridiculous. It's like, uh, did you tell them that, like, um, I applied two years ago. Did you tell them that? It was an automated text. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's still pretty, that's still, I mean, it's, I've gotten those before, like, I applied to a place that I didn't even remember applying to, and then I get, like, a uh, message. I got a message back, and I'm just like, um, buddy, that was, like, two years, that was years ago, like, or that was months ago. What are you doing? Yeah, exactly. Like, it's, it's funny. When I, when I applied to FedEx, they, they fucking get to you, like, the next day. Well, they need bodies. Yeah, exactly. And then with, like, Walmart, I, I applied to, like, FedEx and Walmart on the same day. Walmart fucking got back to me like fucking three weeks into my new job at FedEx. <laughs> well, FedEx, I, th I think FedEx has a much higher turnover rate for employees because it, the work, the work yeah. is hard. It works hard. Like, it's a hard job. Yeah, I agree. It's, it's physical. more, people don't expect it to be physical somehow, and yeah. I have to lift things at a shipping company? What is this? <clears throat> I'm it's so not even necessarily, like, like, you, you don't really even have to be that in shape. Like, it, you could just be like, hey, uh, this box is really heavy. Could you help me lift it? And they'll be like, yeah, okay. Yeah, obviously they don't expect you to be, like, bodybuilding type shit. Yeah, like, it, I mean. Trust me, they'd be paying more. Yeah, there are quite a... <sighs> what, I think what gets me is that people just don't feel confident in themselves. And they just feel like they're just a oh, burden my to thing, other people. My, my thing is, my thing is, I was just, I'm so out of shape that just, like, doing it, doing it for a couple of days, I was so sore. I yeah, actually, but, I'd have to get used to it, but. Yeah, you won't need a gym membership. No. <laughs> you won't need one, that will be it. At the very least, you won't pay for it. <laughs> 50 bucks, I get this for free. Landon was telling me about a he he had a membership with uh, Planet Fitness, mm -hmm. and he tried to cancel it. Oh and yeah. He, and when he went in, oh I know where this is going. <laughs> when he went in, uh, the guy at the counter was like, "Oh yeah, uh, you need to talk to our general manager. Uh, he's he he's gonna come in tomorrow. Uh, it's gonna be like early morning." And he's like, "Okay." And then he comes back tomorrow early morning, and the general manager is there. And then he was like, oh yeah, uh, he only comes in on weekends. And then he's like, okay. And then he came in on the weekend, and then he talked to the general manager. And then the general manager was there that day, and then he, he talked to him, and he said, well, basically, uh, what you need to do is you need to send us a letter. And you, in oh. that letter, you have to say, uh, I insert name here, need to, uh, you know, I, I fucking what, you, I resign my membership, uh, you know, as of this day, and then Landon was like, okay, and then he sent the letter, and then, like, uh, next month comes, and he's charged for Planet Fitness again, and he's like, what the hell? And then he goes over to Planet Fitness, and then they're like, "Yeah, uh, we never received a letter." And it was like, it, "I mean, I sent it like three weeks ago. You guys should have gotten it." And they're like, "Well, I mean, we we don't have it." I'm like, "Well, the Land Tatties, get out!" And it's like, "Oh, what?" <laughs> so so what Landon ended up doing was he just opened up another bank account and then put all his money in that new bank account, so that whenever uh, they Planet the Fitness. <laughs> Are you fucking That's kidding me? So Are you funny. fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? No, no. yo, this is a lie. This is a lie. No, a I'm fucking not fucking lie. This watermelon. Is a fucking that is what lie. he did. Oh my god. Oh my fucking god. Amazing. The watermelon. That is what he did. Oh my god. I'm not fucking with you. Oh. That is <laughs> he was that distraught. He's like, "Fuck this!" He yes. He opened a new bank account with his bank. Did they ask him why? No, it was like with a different bank altogether. Oh my god, that's the most. That's. 
it was it was less it was less difficult to open a new bank account and move all of your money to that new bank account than to fucking leave Planet Fitness. Yep. Holy shit! Oh my That's, god! Yep, that, those are the stories I've always heard. <laughs> The, the thing is, is that my local Planet Fitness, it was like, all I had to do was just, I, I went in and I was like, hey, I want to, I want to quit Planet Fitness. And they were like, okay, uh, do it on this tablet. That, that was it for me. <laughs> and when I told Landon I that, he was God, like, Colin, what the you hell? Just, Colin, you just need to write this shit down. This is like, that's like such a good, like, that's a good <laughs> premise for like a stand-up, stand-up <laughs> joke. I don't know how I would fucking structure it into a joke. That shit's just a fucking story. You need a setup. Uh, I'm feeling this wine. This is feeling pretty good. Good? Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. The new Fantasy Star comes out on the 9th. <laughs> of this month. Oh, right, the new red. There's a red, supposed to be a red dead update today or announcement of an update or something. I'm gonna check. Oh, wow, that's cool. I'm gonna check. I'm gonna check the internets and see if anything has changed. Check those internets. Check if there's an airplane. I'm gonna put all this meat and cheese in a bag and I will put it in the fridge for later. Woo! Wake up the kitty! Oh. ideal if we could go to Home Depot, but even that's not solar sails has reached a certain scale, and they have formed a Dyson Swarm around the star. You should be able to clearly see it right now. To receive such energy, you have built a ray receiver to absorb the transmission, where Dyson Swarm can generate power simultaneously. Every solar sail launched for a certain life cycle. If you want to maintain the Dyson Swarm, you have to continue on injecting the solar sails.
Nero, no. <clears throat> hey, Dave. Hang on, I'm watching something. Hold that thought for a second. Okay. Okay, I'm back. What's up? Um, oh. how how often in Red Dead do you just get someone that's like just a an insufferable fuckwad that's trying to mess with you? Um, mm, it's usually about once a week, maybe. Sometimes more, sometimes less, but about once a week, yeah. Oh, okay. Like Hunter and I ran into one uh, this weekend. That was the first time in a while that somebody. Um, the other day when I was playing, it literally took me like maybe five minutes before a, a troll started to fucking Yeah, but that doesn't happen as often. Or rather a hacker. What, what Hunter and I encountered is we were, some guy was like trying to go after us in a trade wagon, and uh, we killed him off the wagon, and we're about to get back on the wagon, and then the wagon just it was instantly destroyed, so I thought, oh, this guy's fucking cheating, so I... <clears throat> bailed out of the game and loaded up into I reloaded the game and loaded into a new um, lobby so I had all my stuff back and then I waited like three minutes and then he followed me into my lobby which is something that hackers can do they can follow you from lobby to lobby if you're not touch with them um, and even if you block them they can do that so I blocked the guy and he was still following um, so that doesn't happen that much anymore Huh. There were some. There were. I did run into somebody who was being like a creeper, but then like I basically just looked up. Like I wasn't even being mean to him. I was just like, "All right, hey." Eventually, I was like, "Hey, can, can you stop?" He's like, "No, you fucking faggot, fucking faggot, faggot." Like just being like that. <laughs> so I looked up, and so I, I so I looked up, and so I I looked up um, his handle, and I found his Twitter, and he posted a bunch of personal information on his Twitter. Wow. Um, and I said some pretty mean things to him that I probably shouldn't have said, but I did. And, uh, he got creeped out and left, and I never saw him again. Smart. Well, at least he got the message. Yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I found out, I found out that his brother had died or something last year, and then I said something to the effect of, I'm glad your brother is dead. And then he, wow. <laughs> and then, and then he didn't talk to me, and then he left, and then I never saw him again. 
Wow, it's almost like being behaving poorly in front of other people is, is a, a reason to, uh, you know, avoid others. I mean, it was pretty mean, but in retrospect, uh, it worked. Yeah, and it I, worked. And that guy in that, well, basically, well, basically, well, I told, I told this to Patricia because I, I was like, is this maybe a bad person? She was like, oh my god, no, you fucking didn't do that. I'm like, you're joking. I'm like, no. And I'm like, does that mean you're maybe a bad person? She's like, kind of. But like, honestly, I've thought about it since. So the kid, the kid was just being like silly with him and his friend. It was like some chick. And like, I was at first like just playing along. Like being, I was kind of doing what you would do, Colin, where it's like, he's like, he'd like kill me. And then I'd do something. I'd be like, oh, you got me, buddy. Like I'd be kind of silly. I wasn't like getting angry about it. And, um, but he just kept calling me a faggot. He like, at some point, um, I said something more extent, like I just basically, I can't remember, I wasn't being insulting, but I just said something, and, he's, and they were like, you fucking idiot, you can't even speak English, go back to your country, do, 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 do. like they were just making like, fun of how I was talking, and, which was weird, because they were clearly English speaking, I don't know what that was about, um, but then I was like, you know, I was shooting them back and forth, and, you know, it, it was just whatever, and then, and then eventually I walked out of town, and I was like, alright, well they're leaving me alone for now, like, okay, I guess this is over. And they kept killing, like, they went after me to kill me, and then I was like, all right, I'm getting, and then I got angry. I looked up his handle that was on Rockstar, and it was his exact same Twitter handle. And on his Twitter wow. handle, it was like, talking about how his brother, and his brother, I don't know what he died from. He's young, apparently. Um, and I found it, and I was like, oh, and I found, and I realized, oh, this was, his brother died like a year and one month ago. Like, he's probably, still like he posted less than a month ago like you know sucks i lost my brother and like you know hold your love like posting like hold your loved ones and hold them close and tight you never know when they're gonna lose them da, 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 da. and it's also same... acts like a huge troll on the internet yeah and then i was like this is the same guy who's telling me like they're telling me that i'm a faggot and i'm a retard <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. so i literally so literally after he killed like and while i was looking this up i was in, i was at first kind of like okay maybe i'll let this go because i i was like okay maybe he's actually just in a bad mood but then he killed me again when I was like way away, and I was like, "All right, fuck this guy." And he said, "You know what, buddy? I'm glad your brother's dead. I'm glad he's dead. I really am." And then he's like, "What?" And I'm like, "You heard what the fuck I said? I'm really glad your brother's fucking dead. He's dead." <laughs> and then, and his friend too was being an asshole to me. And then they both just shut the fuck up. They left the lobby. I never saw him again. I bet. It's like all. Oh, it's like it's like oh, wait, and, and I. I I felt bad about it at first, but now I'm just like, that guy was being a fucking prick to, to a stranger online. He fucking deserved it. Yeah, he was asking for some sort of trouble. Like, That's don't funny. fuck with, don't fuck with people online. You never know what kind of crazy person you can get. Honestly, I'm with you on that one, Dave. I don't know how you feel, Colin, but I I feel like uh, I mean, he's dude's a fucking. Uh... Degenerate. He was a douche. I don't think too much of it. I just hope he learned a lesson. But basically, now, now it's it's funny that you you gave me this this whole fucking story. Uh, basically, I I was I was gonna. That's not say... the first, and that's not the first time I've done something like that. Anyway, go on. <laughs> I'm not even ba kidding. What what I was gonna say was basically. Um, the the reason the re the background to why I asked was because I, I found this, this there was this one motherfucker in in uh in Tekken and, and and he was just behaving like a fucking asshole for no reason. Is that the guy who added you on? on no 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 different guy different guy. Okay. Uh, but th this guy like in the game like he would win a round. Okay, so basically I I beat him like three zero one game right. Uh. And then I, every time I beat him, I'm not doing anything. I, like I, I fucking win the round, and then I, then I fucking just stop doing shit. Then, whenever he wins a round, after that, he fucking tea bags, he key charges, fucking he, he's he's doing all sorts of shit to just he's like you know be like, he's he's he, bad, bad manners sport. like the definition, and. So basically, uh, look. I, honestly, I don't even want to like spoil it. I'll just, I'll just give you this YouTube link that I just uploaded, and uh, and I'll, I'll let, I'll let it speak for itself. Oh, 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 oh my God! Okay, everybody, shut the 
fuck up. I won't load. I won't. There we go. So you uh, beat his ass. Yes. I won that set too, and then I just didn't play him again. There's another time when this was when Facebook, like people could, like strangers could talk to each other on Facebook off of like news feeds and things like that. Oh god. And so there's one lady from like she was like a dock worker or something in Seattle. She was like, just part of some dock workers union or something. This is this is like this middle-aged black woman. And I don't even remember what I said. I wasn't saying anything particularly, like, mean or controversial. But she was like, oh, you're a fucking white boy with, like, a cartoon Facebook page. I bet you're a little bitch. Like, I'm gonna, f like, she literally was like, fuck you, fuck you. I'm gonna, like, I'm gonna get my boys to fuck you up, da 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 And I was like, I literally, literally was like, um, I don't even live on the same set of this continent. I mean, stranger, like, how, like, what? You're gonna, like, you're not even threatening me. She's like, oh, I'll find you. You little bitches are easy to find, blah, 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 blah. So I looked up her name, and I found out that, like, 15 years prior, she was actually featured in her union's paper because I guess some older guy that she was working with had a heart attack. And she, uh, you know, she gave CPR. She did everything that she was supposed to. Um, but the guy died because, you know, heart attack is heart attack. Once the heart stops, it stops. And so when I found that out, I said, what are you, you going to kill me like you killed that guy, you stupid bitch? And uh, she blocked me. Uh, it's like, don't be rude to people online. Easy, babe. You're a psycho. <laughs> don't be rude to people online. I mean, you're like, if yeah, here you're just putting your fucking, you're putting all this information out about yourself, and then you're just being a fucking asshole with your name connected to it, and you're making it so easy. For someone to, to just make the connection and be like, "What? <laughs> like like that one time in your life that you shared with everybody?" Yeah, it's 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 immensely stupid and naive on their part. So I might be crazy, but it's like maybe maybe those people will learn a lesson that. You know, even if it, my my view is that the lesson to be learned is that um, if you think that you're faceless, a faceless nobody on the internet, that's not true. Like people can yeah. find out everything about you. And so you Unless a, you're on Fortune. <laughs> but uh, you shouldn't be a, you shouldn't be shitty to people strangers online. They think they can be shitty to people online because nothing will happen. And then I later and then I later I I actually so because I knew the dates. I know the date and time when the person, when the guy's, when the guy's brother was killed. I found out that his brother was actually killed in like some random screw shooting in Texas. Like he was like, he was probably like 23 years old or something and was killed in a, in a random like screw shooting at a fast food joint. And I was just thinking to myself, I was like, damn, it's a good thing I didn't find that out the other day because I would have, I would have fucking said his name, been like, oh yeah. I would have been like, oh yeah, your brother, you his name such and such, he got killed in that shootout. He said you're fucking being a real prick right now. Like, I would have, I, God, I would have been so evil with it. I mean, hey. It's like, dude, you, you, you put your, you put, you connect your social media to the game. You explicitly state the, the birth and, de and death date of your brother. I look up obituaries, it's right there. It's not hard to find the obituary. But yeah, don't fuck with me. Don't be fucking rude to me. If you're a stranger online, I will find you. I mean, it like it's not like you fucking went through like some 
IP tracing avenue or no, some shit. The like they're fucking. No, the they, that shit was all just all on Google. Facebook. All, no, I didn't even have to go on Facebook. It was all Google. I found it all on Google. So. So yeah, when people upset me sometimes on online, I'll look them up, and sometimes I find stuff, and sometimes I don't. Moral of the story is um, be nice. And by the way. I didn't go. I didn't start off doing that. Like I, like both cases, they the people were being really fucking rude. To me, so I don't have I don't have that many regrets. I just hope they learned a lesson. Funniest thing is that a lot of times, especially if they're like, if you find someone who's being really fucking rude to you on the internet, if you can just, if you could figure out where they where they're at, you can just Google their names. You can figure, or if you figure out where their who their parents are, you can find like a publicly listed phone number and call the parents. Be like, yeah, yeah, is your son so and so? They'd be like, yes, who is this? They'd be like, yeah, your son's saying he's like calling me, an, he's like calling me an N word and a faggot and shit online, and I'm just letting you know that I I know where you like I'm letting you know about this. But it's also like, I've never actually done this, but it's kind of it's kind of a way of being like, I know where you live and I have your phone number, so you should stop doing this. Yeah. Like if all all you have to do is be like, yeah, your son's calling me like all these names online. It's very rude and like offensive. You should tell him they shouldn't be able like that to strangers online. How did you get this? Like you're not. And you like hang up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I just be like, I just be like, it's public. If they actually ask that, I'd be like, this is all public. Information. Like I don't think I don't think you realize like white pages still exist. <laughs> white pages still exist, and your son has all of his personal information online. It's just it's fine. Like I didn't have to do anything illegal. Like you should tell your son to not be rude to strangers on the internet. Like that's all I would say. And I'm not. It's like not a threat. It's just like a suggestion. It's like hey, don't don't do that. Don't do that. And if and it's like yeah. What are they What are they gonna do? Call the police? Oh, they got my number. It's like, So as I stated, I've never actually done that, but boy, I've been tempted. Boy, how do you have I been tempted? I was ready to be a bad liar. Davy, no. Yeah, I'm actually really, I mean, it's, it's you know, you don't always get hits, but it, I'm surprisingly good at thoughts. That's a useful talent still. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's DLC for Koikatsu Party, and it's it adds a lot of stuff, as well as the oper the option for threesomes. Buna's Buna, Bo don't tell Buna his dick might fall off. It's fucking fifty five dollars. I'm tempted, but I, I, god Buna, damn. Are you kidding me? Buna, Buna blows more money on less, on like less interesting things. He'll buy it. He'll buy it, and his dip will fall off. Oh shit. Fact. Both true statements. But like, it will immediately happen. That's the shocking part. Like, you think it'll take some time before it falls off? No, it'll. No, what will happen is is that <laughs> what will happen what will happen is I'll just be like, hey Buna, did you see that Kokatsu party has like a huge update? It's like really and I'm like, yeah, apparently it adds like three seasons and stuff. Buna will be like, let me check this out and then and immediately he'll be like, just, oh, hold on, get work fucked. Dunk. And, we'll and then we won't and then we won't hear from him for like two days, and then we'll be like, Buna, where are where have you been? He's like 
Yeah, I've been getting work fucked the past few days. Yeah, I've been working hard though, banging it out. And then he'll just like drink and drink and drink and smoke and smoke and smoke. And then we'll be like, hey, Buna, do you want to play video games? He's like, no, I've been playing Kokatsu Party for the past three days. My dick's gone. I'm about to get fired. I need to do my work. Bye. And then we won't see him for like another. Oh. True. That is true. How elaborate? 100% accurate. There's nothing, there's nothing I exaggerated at all in that I mean, it's already pretty much what happens. It's already what's happening right now with, uh, World of Warcraft. Not really. He can eventually, he'll eventually, he'll eventually blow out, he'll eventually blow through all the content. Uh, in World of Warcraft. Uh, he won't blow through content and click off too far. That'll, he'll just keep, keep doing that. And then his dick will fall off. <clears throat> I... I, I want to save my money for uh, fucking New Genesis when it comes out. Because I know I'll probably be uh, premium for that shit. And save your money. Exactly. That's what I'm doing. Yeah. Just go, you don't see go... me having threesomes in high school. <laughs> Just go like if you if you ever apparently that costs fifty think, dollars. If you ever thinking about if you ever thinking about if you ever thinking about spending a lot of money on a sex game, just jerk off first and then reconsider. And then think about it. And you, honestly, yeah, you're yeah. so right. You'll never end Same up. Same thing again. with a woman. Same thing with a woman. If you think you're about to make a mistake with a woman, just jerk off and then think about it. And you're, you're all set. Look through it. You won't have rose tinted glasses anymore. Said you'll have cum tint. You'll have cum stained chalices. You'll see it for what it is. Unstained chalices. <laughs> I don't think that's right. I think. I, don't, <laughs> I think. I. I, I, <laughs> I think. I think you thought come chalice, and then you just wanted to add that into the sentence. Come stained chalice. I. I think you uh, need to shut the fuck up and appreciate it for what it is. A man can theorize. <clears throat> I'm feeling good. Well, that was a quick masturbation session. No. No, that's not what I mean. Wow, did you spend the $50? I want to spend a million dollars on cigars, but then my girlfriend would be me at it. She'd be like, David, why'd you spend all that money? I'd be like, ah! She'd be like, ah! That's scary. What? Well, <laughs> I need to save up because uh, now I have one hundred ninety thousand dollars to fucking pay off. Colin, you should come see my house. Come to Massachusetts to my house. Ah, uh, okay, ah, uh, um, ah. Uh... Yeah, uh, maybe. Put the chalice down. That would be my... the farthest north I have ever gone. You should come up in winter. You'd love it. Come up in winter. You'll freeze your nuts off. It'll be awesome. You oh, you actually no. might. You might actually like it because of the snow. The snow. Come really on good. over. You'll leave immediately. Come on over, Rover. You get the hell out of here. You get our summers. Our summers are hotter than your summers, dude. You're not as humid. I, I, I hope. No, no, no. We get. I was gonna say I was like actually the more humid than hot. <laughs> well, it's no, always we'll 100. We'll get. We'll get. We'll get. We'll get. Not. It is very, very regular that during the height of summer we will get 90 percent, 90, 90 degrees Fahrenheit and like 100 percent humidity. It's my favorite hot. weather of the year. I'm the fuck. I'm fucking uh, assuming that that's just the East Coast in general, because the West Coast apparently doesn't get this shit at all. Yeah, apparently, like, um, one of my coworkers lived in San Francisco for a long time, and at the time she was just, like, a bull dyke, now she's a dude. She actually did the transition whatever thing. Um, but lived in, like, went to school in San Francisco for, like, this weird philosophy program and lived there. And I'm like, so, I've never been to San Francisco. Why does everybody want to live there? Why are the property values so fucking high? Like, I don't... 
Like, is it just because pe it's just because it's trendy to live there? Like, why? Like, what is the deal with the property values? And that goes. It is 72 degrees, blue skies, sunny, every single day. Like, it's always nice. The weather is perfect. It's like 70 degrees, sunny, blue skies. Doesn't rain that often. There's no snow. Like, it's great that the weather is just perfect. I'm like, okay, that makes sense. That makes That's why everybody wants to live there. Yeah, that adds up. I honestly thought they were going to say it's fun to be gay here. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, that's kind of what I was, kind of what I was implying, but it was also like, is it just because people, is it just, like, that's why I was like, is it just trendy to live there? Is it just kind of a meme? I didn't say it's kind of a meme, but I'm like, is it trendy? And Beck was like, no, it's, the weather is just fucking phenomenal every single day. So, yep, I can get behind that. Yeah, then it's like, okay, that makes 100% sense. Damn. Lil Majin's the first Tekken God Omega King. That's American. Okay, it so it's like summer right guy. now. It's 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 June first. Right now in San Francisco, it's sixty-one degrees Fahrenheit. The rest of the week, it's in the sixties. Oh my god! It's yeah, it's humid. pretty awesome. It's still like 60 50 percent humidity, but 60, 60 degrees is not bad. Holy. Man, that, 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 the average, the average, average the average high, the average high in December is 55 degrees. I get way higher than that. It's a doom but I'm just That reminds me of something. I don't know if I showed you this. <laughs> I don't know if I showed you this or not, Galdus, but uh, this was, this was at one of the. I'll tell you what, while I'm uploading this. Uh, this was at one of the fucking offline tournaments uh, that I went to. And it was at a, a Marriott hotel. We were, uh, me and Based Ganja Ooh, were staying So uh, you hooked up? Yeah. Uh, fucking, uh, but we, we were at Shut a. Shut up, I'm we watching. Were, yeah, yeah. Well, that was definitely you clean that dude's block. <laughs> uh, but basically, we we went to the Marriott uh, that it was being it was being the the tournament was uh, Kumite 2020, and it was being hosted at a Marriott. And we we went there. We had a room booked because it was a multi-day event. Mm -hmm. And uh, while I was there, um, I posted in. Uh, a a discord that is for like a certain character in the game and um, I was like hey is anyone at Kumite 2020 uh, I, I got I'm gonna get pizza in my room and they were like fuck yes I will be there <laughs> it was it was fucking awesome we were drinking we were having pizza it was fucking great Sounds <laughs> It was, I, that's what I fucking miss, and and it's gonna start again this month. There's it's gonna be a sad. there's gonna be a a local uh, revival in Knoxville. Well, it's not really local for me, but still, I I'm willing to drive over there because there's gonna be dudes from Georgia that are gonna be playing there, and it's gonna be fucking awesome. Hell yeah, dude! That's what's up. <sighs> Uh, I'm I'm so fucking happy that this shit's gonna start like happening again because this was the that that video was one of the last tournaments that I was able to go offline because of the fucking uh, uh, virus and whatnot. The fake the fake China virus. The China virus. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Did you hear about now it's okay to question if it came from a lab in Wuhan? What the fuck do you mean it's okay to fucking ask or a question? Yeah. 
What, yes. I, what I mean is that if you is that people who proposed it last year around the same time were called conspiracy theorists. In the According news. to like who? Rand... China? No, 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 no. Like when also, Rand yes. Paul. Well, <laughs> yes. Well, okay. Yes, China. But when Rand, like when Rand Paul was proposing that it could have possibly come from a lab because of the Wuhan, the the, the, the virology lab, he was called a conspiracy theorist by by certain like outlets. Yeah, I I I hear that and I immediately agree with Rand Paul because like it, it definitely. To, first of all, to immediately shut down that idea as a conspiracy theory is fucking stupid. Like for that's real? What, that's Are you what kidding I'm saying. Me? That's what that's that's what happened last year though, in the news. I I realize I I held the belief like, hey, this could very well be a a fucking lab yeah, I didn't, or some shit. I didn't. I mean, I didn't. I mean, there were lots of conspiracy theories about it. I was sort of waiting to see what would happen. But I, it's like it's a via, it's a viable possibility just as anything else at this juncture. Yeah, it like it's it's a it's an extremely contagious thing, and I mean I don't I don't trust China whatsoever, and it's like there's no reason for me to trust. Not that. to mention not to mention that when the World Health Organization was supposed to review it, like China, like literally they staffed it entirely with Chinese government people. Like it was the most bull it was literally the most bullshit investigation that's ever been done. Yeah, I I don't trust China whatsoever. And Nor I, should and you. The, yeah, exactly. The fact that people somehow trust it, it is ridiculous to me. It is it's, very shocking. It's, it's because the people don't realize that there's a difference between liking China and liking the ruling party of China. Yeah. I feel like that's what it really boils down to. I have no problem with China, but I have a problem with the CCP. But yeah, um, for a second I thought you were going to be like, fuck you, because I like, actually, people were arguing with me about this at one point, about like, how, oh, it wasn't, this wasn't like, quashed in the media, what are you talking about? And I literally, all it took me was, it took me all of 60 seconds in Google to come up with like, 12 different articles about how it was a conspiracy theory last year. And I was like, what about all this? And the response was nothing. I got no response. It was just, well, Trump this and Trump that. And it's like, well, we're not talking about Trump. We're talking about... I thought we were I, talking I get, about... I get what you're saying. Yeah, I get what you're saying. <laughs> it, makes me, it makes me angry. It makes me angry when I, like, literally, it's like, here's the evidence right in front of me. Here it is. What do you have to say to this? Like, here are the articles. Here are the outlets. Here's, like, here it is everything. Well, Trump did this and that. And it's like, oh, my God. God, I'm dealing with an NPC. <laughs> yeah. I like talking to you, Walt. <sighs> really is like talking to an NPC, Dave. You're right. Man, wine is so good. It really is. Are you drinking right now? Are you judging? Him? Fuck it. I have what? I've been doing that. No. I don't know. I was gonna say I'm jealous. I I'm doing it because. My bedtime is around like six. So God damn it, this is my late night. That's why I got the charcuterie and shit out. And shit. But uh, I since put up a lot of the, I, I put up the cheese and the, the rest of the sausage. Uh, I still have just like a couple of crackers left out. So I wasn't gonna judge him. I, was, I know he. I know he has a few more times. Fuck you, Hunter. I'm just pointing out. I, I wish I had some like Chardonnay or something, some white wine or like something. Moscato. Don't need to get all testicles. You don't need to get all poopadies. Oh, I'm gonna poop your pants and then point and laugh. You guys have an Aldi up there? Aldi's? Yes, um, Aldi. I, I'm not. I'm not setting up a fucking uh, nut. No, joke. I'm curious. I I feel like we do. A A L <laughs> Aldi. Capital, capital. I just saw the potential. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So there are Aldi's in Massachusetts. I don't think I've ever seen one. First, like actually physically seen it in the real world, but they do exist. So there's um. There's one in 
Medford, there's one in Framingham, there, there's one, there are a couple up in New Hampshire, but they're mostly like, there's one in Boston and Medford, a couple around, one in Lemonster of all fucking places, um, one in Brockton, what the fuck, but no, what is Aldo? But basically, anything? uh, I, I mean, it's, it's, it's a fucking grocery store. But, uh, I, I'm, I'm confident that I've brought this up before, because your next line will be, Oh yeah, Trader Joe's has something similar. But, uh, it's basically just, they have really cheap wine. Oh uh, yeah, Trader really Joe's good. has something similar. Yeah, exactly. See? We, can, we, uh, we completed the prophecy. Now, we're, now we can move on. <laughs> Glad we well, how uh, much is it? that, boy. It's, it's, it's like... It's like two or three dollars per bottle. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. At least down here. Deal. Same exact deal. It's like the only place in Mass you can get wine on the cheap. Yeah, I fucking, uh, I, and I'm also confident that I probably told you about the Instacart order that I did in Aldi, where it was just, it was like, what, six bottles of the Moscato there? Hmm. Oh, and yeah. And like some cheese. I was like, oh, this guy I know what's knows what's up. This guy's gonna have a good weekend. <laughs> yeah, this, this guy's and, living and, and it up. I was like, how, how does this stuff taste? And and I and I tried it like the next day, and I was like, damn, this shit's good. For like two dollars. Well, Moscato is bubbly, isn't it? It's sparkling wine. I don't. I, I mean, this is one wrong? isn't. This one isn't. At I least so. I don't know Hunter, if all of them are like that. Hunter, what's it's... is it Moscato different from like regular wine? I thought it was just it's, white. It's wine. a white. It's a white. It's it's sweet and white. Just like me. Oh, uh, okay. You're not sweet, Hunter. You're you're more crunchy. And with a distinct taste of salt. Yeah. It's a lemon and a li lime and salt. Lime you're, salt. You, you know what, Hunter? You know what you are, Hunter. You're a, you're a, you're a shot of uh, tequila. That's what you are. I feel like I'd be Buna if anything. I hear what you're saying. No, Buna's a dirty martini. I feel well, like more of old fashioned. Hmm. I want to know what I am. You're a surfer on acid. Oh, okay. Yup, that was a good call, Dave. Yeah, I'm down with that. I'm just a glass of mid-shelf vodka and ice. A big glass of mid-shelf vodka and ice. I feel, I feel like if anything, I'm a bottle of whiskey. It's like a whole bottle of whiskey. <laughs> All right, that's it. I've begun the production of yellow blocks. I'm officially. What about the production of yellow cocks? What do you think? Yellow cocks, Hunter. Oh, you're doubling down. <laughs> Colin, if I send you a picture of my penis, will you play Red Dead Online? No. What if I send you a picture of my ass? I also my will ass. not play Red Dead Online if you send me that. Will you, play, will you play Red Dead Online with me if I ask you nicely? Uh, no, because I need to save that space for oh, yeah, I was our new Genesis. Yeah, that's true. Never mind. I'll be by myself. What's that from? It's a song. All by myself. I've never heard it. Not a song. Relax. <laughs> well played. Relax. <laughs> That's how you do it, Dave. That's how it's done right there. Well I'm learning, I'm learning how to troll like a hunter. <laughs> Alright, speaking of trolling like a hunter, I have to go pee, so I'm gonna go pee real quick. Huh? <laughs> Doesn't have anything to do with it. So I thought. Oh.
Oh, this guy just uh, asked, uh, who wants to bully me in this Tekken chat? So I'm gonna do that. Sounds fun. Yeah. Kick his ass, Colin. Kick his ass. I will, I will. Ass. Hey guys, I'm back. Guess what? You have a hairy back. I no, I have hairy. I'm getting starting to get hairy shoulders up. Hunter, are you streaming right now? Yeah. Will you stop that? No. <laughs> Does that mean you were streaming when I was telling the story about how I fucked with those people? <laughs> yup. Oh well. <laughs> I just realized that too. That's kind of hilarious when you think when you think about it. When you really break it down. Yeah, you know what? I'm a bad person. I've always known I'm a bad person. That's fine. Nero, no, you've been no, 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 no. I'm sick of you jumping up here, sitting on my lap for five minutes, and then jumping off. You want to sit in my fucking lap? You gotta sit in my fucking lap. I love you, but this is getting frustrating. God, this cat. He's so cute, but fuck, he gave me another. <laughs> It's fine, you can jump, and the worst part is that since he's getting older, he's not as good about grooming himself. So, when he sits on me, it's just dander for days. And no matter how much I brush him, he's still got more, so... He's a big black cat, so it's a lot of fucking hair. He's like a medium coat black cat. Nero. 
That is acceptable. Yep, that's perfectly fine. You want to go in the little cubby here? I'll pet you. And you're much more comfortable in that cubby because I'm not moving around that in that cubby. Ooh, but you're so cute! Punch your breathing into your mic. Sorry. Hunter, no! <laughs> Hunter, no! <laughs> One of my favorite things. Hunter, no. Torturing your friends? Uh, <laughs> um. <laughs> uh. Feels good finally having some uh, tech going again. Why not any tech can? Oh, bam. Is Colin still here? Oh, uh, sure. Colin, Colin, Colin. His name is Colin. No, he left. Calling, calling, call, calling all callings. He's a calling call. Woo! When you're calling all callings, there's only one to call. Calling all the callings and calling one and one for one for all. I don't know or care. Cha cha cha. Woo! Your name is Hunter, you are a big hunter, you are a sumter, it's a I will slap your hunter. butt. And I will slap your butt. Hey! Hey! That's my butt. Breathing into your mic. I thought you would like it. Jeez, no one likes what I do. Reminds me I should die. I'm not saying you should die, but if you did, nobody would care. Tell me something I don't. Um, mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. I already knew that. Um. I don't know. I don't want. I don't. I don't care about about the subject anymore. <laughs> to think of something that I don't know. Yeah, I could think of a number of things, but you couldn't I then. Got you there, Davy. What's my middle name? It's not telling me something I don't know. My middle name is Christopher. Yeah, I didn't know that. Miles 
noticed. I feel like I would have noticed that. <laughs> You'd think. <laughs> That's just terrifying for everybody on planet Earth. Sure is, Bob. Bob's the man, Bob's the man. He's the man from Afghanistan. Huh? That's why everyone loves him. Think about that, about that. I think that your ass is fat. It's fat. But one thing I can say for sure about that is that punk is not a big fat rat. Yeah, there's something to be like. That's one of the that's one of the things that I can't quite understand about people in our people like contemporary. I won't even say our generation. There's some people older than us do it, but like adults who rat out other adults for like I I, I can understand if it's like okay that guy committed a murder or yeah that guy raped another woman. Okay, that kind that of ratting out, out. Okay, that yeah like that's the best way to put it. That checks out. That checks out. That's totally, like, I understand that. So, yeah, no, but, no one's shooting you over that. <laughs> yeah, I won't hold it against you for that. Um, but if it's, like, like I can't... There were actual, like, COVID, like, gathering snitch lines that people used in huge numbers last year. Jesus. Like, I just can't... I can't... I don't know... I, like, I... God, it's, I gotta it's be a, honest, my neighbor it's like snitched on me for like having like a COVID party. I would honestly go over there and I would shoot them in the face. <laughs> I would at least beat the sh I would at least beat the shit out of them. Oh, absolutely, dude. They would be definitively hospitalized. <laughs> or at least push them down the stairs when nobody's like when nobody else is around. Just like give them a little give them a little kick. They fall down and be like, "Oh my God, are you okay?" And they're like, "You pushed me." I'm like, no, I didn't. Like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call 911 right now. It's just, no, there's no I cameras. Didn't. Like, what are they gonna do? You are a liar and you're full of shit. Now I'm gonna slap your nipples. Ugh. <laughs> 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 So juvenile. You want slapping nipples off? No, snitching on other adults for very silly oh. things. Again, but, it's like, oh, that guy's a murderer. Slapping. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That's that makes sense. That this person and then this guy in the apartment across from me, I, he's got like five people in there. They don't live there. They're not mad. Those kinds of people should just be shot. Agreed. Sir, would and you like not, me and, and, to and, give and, you your and, stitches, and or would you like me to this. find someone to I'll give them for you later? I'll clarify this even further. If they're doing it because that neighbor fucked with them, and they're just doing it to fuck with them, like, somehow, it's like, okay, that's a little more understandable. But people, that, yeah. but people who, like, in earnest are like, my neighbor has guests over during COVID, that's like a serious threat to me and everybody else. I'm going to do the right thing and call this snitch line. It's like those people need to be shot. Yeah. So I don't like what they're doing, so I'm gonna rat them out. <laughs> like, uh, what? We never heard about- No, I can under- I can 100% like, if you have a neighbor who's like been shitty to you before, like the entire time you lived there has been shitty towards you, and then you see them doing that, and you rat them out for like as as like a revenge sort of thing, I totally get that. But if like there's no fucking reason, and you're just doing it because you're just that you're just that self righteous, like I can understand doing it for like revenge, just not just not for like 
It's just stupid. It's so stupid. What I'm saying is we should kill them all and turn them into soil. Turn them into soil and eat them up good. I have one more hour of work left, and then I can go have a stogay. Stogay? Did you call it that because it's really gay? Or... I don't know. I'm retarded. I don't know what you want from me. Just uh, being crass. Yes. Why did you do that, Dave? I was just being crass. <laughs> it doesn't make it okay. Well, fucking, I did it anyway. I don't know what you want from me. He's <laughs> like, well. It happened. <laughs> yeah, well, I, I don't know. I don't know what more you want. <laughs> now check out these bonsais. Like, those are your nipple. <laughs> Buddy, why can't you just have a normal fucking business? I'm a real sketchy dude! Coming in your butt! Thanks, Nick. <laughs> oh, thanks, Nicholas Swartzen. Nick Swartzen's actually really funny. It's fucking hilarious. Very underrated stand-up. Anyone future watching this possibly watch some Nick Swartz and stand up comedy. He's really funny. I was about to say, I really don't get many of you. <laughs> Why don't you smell my earwax? Ew. Just smell my butt. You, you never smelled your earwax? You butt smeller. Have you ever smelled your earwax? I don't have, honestly don't know. <laughs> you should smell it right now. See what it smells like. I'm all set. I'm not curious. Don't be a. Come on, relax. Relax. Just do it and relax. I'm stressing it. Ah! <laughs> if Puna was here, he would immediately jump in and be like, See, dude, now you know how it feels. And be like, I was being ridiculous and over the top and dramatic. If, if Ben was here, he'd just be like, Guys, shut the fuck up. I don't want to be friends with you anymore. And then he'd like, come back an hour later and be like, Hey, I'm back from my nap. <laughs> and we'd be like, Puna, who was that? 
They'll be like, ha 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 and they'll DC and just come back like four months later and be like, oh, I pooped. And fell asleep. Oopsie poopsie, I'm just a boo who not boo for you. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> <laughs> Buno comes out like kicking his legs. I still can't dancing. fucking. I still cannot fucking believe you pulled an ants reference with Colin earlier. That was fucking ridiculous. I can't believe you did that. I love that movie. That movie came out in like 1997, bro. <laughs> so I'm so old. <laughs> like, I'm so old that sometimes I forget just how. Old I am. 1998. It came out in 1998, dude. <sighs> I'm so. sure that many people who worked on that film aren't even alive anymore. <laughs> That's true. That movie is over 20 years old. Hunter, we're old now. Yep, I find I did a geezer thing, dude. I uh, referenced a movie that came out. Like, not, not just any movie. Purpose. Not just any fucking movie. The most random Woody Allen animated movie that was meant to like compete with a Bug's Life. <laughs> as some of the most, as some of the most brutal, most brutal war scenes of any children's I've ever, ever, ever seen. Day. Like people like Hunter, are like what's what's wrong with you personally? I'm like, you ever show your child like the war scene from Ants and wonder how he'd come out? It's me. <laughs> <laughs> still, even now, even now, when I think about it, it's like, how the fuck was that marketed to children? They're like, go on, kids, fight in the next great war and be excited. <laughs> no, 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 no. They had Woody Allen in a fucking like. Woody Allen doesn't make kid from kid movies. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I mean, he fucks kids, but he doesn't make kids movies. Yeah, practically the same thing. Woody Allen, he's a pedophile. Yeah, he fucks children, especially when he adopts them. Do, do, do. For those of you back. who don't know, for those of you who don't know, Woody Allen adopted a child and then married. Then grew up and fucked it. Yeah. So, so I don't know so how. I don't know how he. I don't know how he gets a pass for that. I don't I, know how I, he's on the Honestly, for that. someone should call him. <laughs> That's all I have to say. I don't know how he does it. It's impressive. It's so fucking. I'm just not even here, and it's still weird. His name is Hunter, yeah, his name is a noun, but it's turned into proper. His name is Hunter, it's not a real name, mostly for girls, it's Hunter. It's not okay, do 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 do.
have returned. I hope you've learned your little lesson as I have returned. <sighs> Beef, beef, beef with beef with a dry rub beef with a dry rub. Shouldn't talk about your girlfriend like that. <laughs> Jeez. I couldn't let that go. It was like, it was just there. It was there. It was there, Hunter. I had to take it. It was there. It was ripe for the taking. Are you daft? It was there. I held it twixt my fingers. Ain't had nothing twixt my nothers. Weren't run on batteries. Going on six months now. I, hadn't, I can't remember the full lines. I think it's going on six months now. I haven't had nothing towards my nethers. Work run on battery. That's the one. Um, it's from a movie. friend never knew hatred until he tried to, to end his fucking planet fitness contract. <laughs> I can't they are legendary for being <clears throat> one of like the most No when he no when he said when he said I'm so yeah my friend landed like he was trying to get out of his out of his uh, subscription to Planet Fitness and then I you know I mean you remember I immediately went, Oh I know where this is going. <laughs> little did I know. Little did I know he, he fucking created a new bank account just to get away from the that might be the most extreme thing I've ever heard anyone doing to get out of it, but it's so justified. <laughs> uh, didn't you used to work at a gym? Yes. Uh, what was it? Uh, workout. Didn't you work at a... Oh, you worked at a workout world. Yeah, overnight. Yeah, you'd see all the weird coked out guys coming in at like 3 a.m. to do deadlifts. Or see so yeah, like the droid rage dudes just like come in like, oh, I'm gonna lift some weights and then they like scare Well, they weren't thing. rude to you, were they? Yeah, <laughs> they were really rude. Oh. And scary. And, I thought you uh, hated the job. I thought you just hated the job because of the hours. Well, that too. <laughs> People are also rude and scary. It's like, don't worry, I'm just the only one here. <laughs> Don't feel bad. That also you means threaten my life. <laughs> that also means did anyone ever actually threaten your life? <laughs> like multiple times. Why didn't you call? Like the it got to the point. Well, a because there's this roided out freak right there, and 
be because like, he could rip me in half before they show up. <laughs> like, easily. <laughs> That's why you don't tell him you're going to call the police. You just call the police. And then the police can kill him. And if he's white, nobody cares. That was, that was back in the day where if you were white, uh, it would have made the news. Whatever, I'm just trying to help you, Hunter. I'm trying to help past you, Hunter. Uh, past me had it down, Pat. The, uh, they would scan their IDs, and it'd be like, Bablunk, user is banned! And they would just give me this look like, I'm gonna murder you! And I would just be like, go ahead. Like, go on in. <laughs> so wait, they would actually come in and they'd say that they're, that they're, that they're, I, that their membership, that they were actually banned, and then they would threaten you and go in anyway? No, the machine that you had to scan to get in and be like, Blunk user is banned! And they would just give you this look like, I'm gonna stab you in the throat! And it's like, uh, how about you just go lift those weights? <laughs> That's a little scary. Yep, I mean, hey man, I'm just trying to stay alive till morning. Do whatever the fuck you want. They don't pay me enough for this. <laughs> Thanks for not killing me. I've developed, or I'm in the process of developing an entire ring around my planet, the secondary planet of uh, solar panels. Why don't you develop a penis? Trying to get smacked, boy? What are you gonna smack me with? Your uh, penis? Dick. Oh wow, I just finished it. Your dick? Doesn't even make sense. You could try hard. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm just, I'm, I am me. <laughs> Willfully pedantic. Call me what you will, but at least I'm not a homo. Grandpa, where did that come from? <laughs> There will never be an energy shortage based on time on my uh, planet again. On my second planet, anyways. My Dyson Sphere is uh, loading up apparently, so that's something. <laughs> I think we're just so far from the sun that it's like hard for it to receive any power. So pedantic. Do you even know what that means? Uh. You're gay. Gay, 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 gay. <laughs> Just gotta go old school. <laughs> Wins every argument. <laughs> gay, 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 gay. <laughs>
pretty. Uh, being pedantic. Why is this word repeating throughout my life? I love you, Hunter, but I am I'm trying to listen I'm trying to listen to a YouTube video right now. Fair enough.
Ah. Oh, I mean, bless you. Whoopsie. Nebulon's ghost! I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go blow my nose real quick. That knocked out a lot of... Uh, I can finally blow my nose. It doesn't feel as stuffy anymore. I was like, I know how ah. that works, dude. <laughs> Nero, no.
I'll be right back.
at my Dyson Swarm. That's pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie.
Ez meg kijönni.
Hola, I've returned.
Sure. Let's go Home Depot. Let me just fly to where I'm trying to go and hook something up real quick. And I all set.